Thank you very much. Thank you. I want to thank Madame Rajavi for her extraordinary speech. Those values, those values of gender equality, of separation for, of mosque and state, of freedom, of abolishing the death penalty, those are not just Iranian values. And we should be supporting those who wish to spread democratic values around the world. Now, it is true that Iran and North Korea have the distinction of being tied for having the worst human rights record in the earth, on the earth, the worst human rights effort on the earth. It is also true that for a long time, the United States and the United Nations have said that they stand up to protect those who are fighting for human rights. But it is not enough to say that you are going to protect those who are fighting for human rights. You must do something to protect those who are fighting for human rights. And the risk, the risk before the United States and the United Nations today for those at supposed Camp Liberty is that we will not support our own convictions with our actions. It is not sufficient to talk. If you're a world leader, you must act. Now, we have made progress in the last two years. No longer is the Iranian resistance unjustifiably on the American terror list or the Canadian terror list. And I give the Europeans, our friends in Europe, the credit for obeying the law long before we did and getting them off the terrorist list long before. But the fact of the matter is that there are more than 3,100 Iranian dissidents who the United States of America disarmed with a promise to protect that are sitting in what amounts to a prison camp in near Baghdad in Iraq. And I am an American who's proud of America, and I want to see America keep its promises now. In the question of the United Nations, the people at Ashraf were asked to move to Camp Liberty, which does not meet the standards for a refugee camp. It meets the standards for, of a prison camp. And the United Nations has a problem, because the ambassador from the United Nations has an automatic conflict of interest. And we need someone with no conflicts to work hard to defuse this situation. The United Nations has been too slow. And we, this time, if the United Nations is too slow, there will be people who pay with their lives. That is not acceptable. And if that happens, I may join those people on the other side of the aisle who believe the United Nations appropriations ought to be cut if they can't do their job. As Ambassador Richardson said, the regime in Iran represents the greatest danger on the face of the earth. This is a regime that supports terrorism everywhere. Thousands of Americans have died at the hands of this regime, not to mention tens of thousands of others and hundreds of thousands of Iranians. And I say, extraordinary quote that Madame Rajavi used, from the mother of the Iranian blogger who was murdered, that he was a lion and that you are cowards. But I will add something. For each one that's murdered by the Iranian secret police, there will be five more, and then five more after that, until Iran is free. Thank you very much.